Hello and welcome to Leo's Tech Talk. This video is to list the events unfolded last week in space. SpaceX 30th Robotic Dragon cargo ship departed from the International Space Station on April 28 at 1.10 p.m. EDT, while the two spacecraft were flying over Thailand and returned to Earth with an ocean splashdown off the coast of Florida around 2.30 a.m. EDT on Tuesday, April 30. The capsule delivered about three tons of scientific hardware and supplies to the orbiting lab. A Falcon 9 rocket lifts off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying 23 Starlink satellites up to low Earth orbit on April 28, 2024 for Starlink 6-54 mission. The Falcon 9 first stage booster supporting this mission, tail numbered B-1076 in the SpaceX fleet landed on the SpaceX drone ship, just read the instructions just over 8 minutes after liftoff. This was the 301st booster landing to date. NASA has paused science activities for the Hubble Space Telescope after one of its three gyroscopes sent faulty readings back to Earth. The telescope was placed into safe mode while it awaits further instructions from the ground. Despite the misfiring gyro, Hubble's instruments are stable and overall in good health as NASA reported. Private Moon Lander will carry Nokia's 4G cell network to the lunar surface this year. In 2020, NASA awarded contracts to 14 companies to develop tipping point technologies to support the Artemis program. Nokia received $14.1 million to build the first cellular network on the moon. Rather than develop all new technology, Nokia is adapting its existing hardware for the lunar environment. If all goes according to plan, Nokia's 4G or LTE lunar network would provide more bandwidth than the traditional ultra-high frequency systems used for space communication. It would not only make communications quicker from astronaut to astronaut, but also for autonomous robotic systems on the moon. Plus, the network could eventually be adapted for Mars, and upgraded to 5G one day. NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and pilot Sunny Williams finished a big dress rehearsal for their mission aboard Boeing Starliner, known as Crew Flight Test. Training continues for their scheduled May 6 liftoff to the International Space Station. Starliner CFT was delayed in 2023 after Boeing and NASA uncovered new issues. Some of the most critical included problems with the main parachutes and wiring. China has released a highly detailed geologic atlas of the moon. The atlas available in Chinese and English, depicts the surface of the moon with a scale of 1 to 2.5 million. It highlights many intriguing geological features, such as impact craters. Chinese scientists and cartographers began drawing the map in 2012. China has launched a series of lunar probes, including Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2, which were orbiters charged with mapping the lunar surface. NASA's Viper Moon rover gets its neck and head installed for mission later this year and is expected to take a trip to the south pole of the moon, embarking on a 100-day mission. The mission will involve learning more about water on the moon and gleaning what other resources may be available in the region. NASA has selected four new crew members to partake in a simulated mission to Mars inside the agency's Human Exploration Research Analog. From left are Jason Lee, Stephanie Navarro, Sharif al Romethi, and Piyumi Vijasikara. After handing over the space station to Shenzhou 18 crew the Shenzhou 17 spacecraft undocks the space station and descends through Earth's atmosphere, bringing three astronauts safely home after a six-month space mission. The Shenzhou 17 spacecraft touched down under parachutes in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region on 30 April at 5.46 a.m. EDT, about nine hours after departing China's Tiangong space station. China unveils video of its moon base plans, which includes a NASA space shuttle. A still from a video released by the China National Space Administration, CNSA, that outlines its concept for a lunar base to be developed across the next couple of decades. Einstein Probe X-ray Telescope releases first images taken with lobster vision. A joint Chinese and European X-ray telescope mission called Einstein Probe is successfully viewing the universe in widescreen, with a telescope design that mimics the eyes of lobsters. A new telescope billed as the world's highest astronomical site is officially open for business. The Japanese University of Tokyo Atacama Observatory, or TAO, which was first conceptualized 26 years ago to study the evolution of galaxies and exoplanets, is perched on top of a tall mountain in the Chilean Andes at 5,640 meters above sea level. The four astronauts of SpaceX Crew-8 mission moved their Dragon capsule to a different port at the International Space Station on May 2. The Dragon named Endeavour, began undocking from the forward-facing port of the station's Harmony module at 8.52 a.m. EDT. Endeavour autonomously docked with Harmony's space-facing port, Zenith, 54 minutes later. This is to make way for Boeing Starliner. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched two satellites for the Maxar-1 mission. The full Maxar constellation of 10 electro-optical satellites will image the most rapidly changing areas on Earth as frequently as every 20 to 30 minutes, from sunup to sundown. 
NASA has selected nine companies to develop concepts that could aid agency science missions to Mars, down the road. The agency is awarding each company between $200,000 and $300,000 for this early stage work, with the goal of making robotic Mars exploration more efficient and more productive. 61 years after it stood ready to send NASA's last one-man mission into Earth orbit, the Mercury Atlas 9 rocket is standing again as an exhibit comprised of a recently restored Atlas missile and a mock Mercury capsule. NASA Inspector General finds Orion heat shield issues pose significant risks to Artemis II crew safety. Heat shield issues threaten the timeline of NASA's Artemis moon exploration program. SpaceX launches 30th Starlink mission of 2024 on Falcon 9 flight from Cape Canaveral for 6-55 mission. The Falcon 9 first stage booster supporting this mission, tail number B-1067 in the SpaceX fleet landed on the SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. This was the 303rd booster landing to date. United Launch Alliance assembles Atlas V rocket ahead of Boeing Starliner astronaut test flight. ULA has released a short video highlighting how Starliner's Atlas V launch vehicle was stacked and integrated with the spacecraft. China's Chang'e 6 mission launches atop a long March 5 rocket on May 3 headed back to the moon's mysterious far side. If all goes according to plan, Chang'e 6 will touch down on the moon's far side, scoop up some samples and bring them back to Earth. Virgin Galactic to launch 7th commercial spaceflight on June 8. The company announced on May 1 that it's targeting June 8 for its 7th commercial spaceflight, a suborbital jaunt, called fittingly enough, Galactic 07. A United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket, topped with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, rolls out to its launch pad at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on May 4. Thank you for watching.